Hello friends, welcome back to Mark's Stack and welcome back to the session number three of our IDP integration with our Anypoint platform. So in this session, we are going to talk about, you know, step by steps, you know, we'll configure our Azure AD with as an IDP provider with our Anypoint platform. Okay. So, you know, as a, uh, you know, a platform admin, we'll be configuring this in the access management. Okay. So let's go ahead and see first log into our AnyPoint platform quickly. So let me take you to the to the AnyPoint platform. So here we log into our this is a fresh account we have created for our this IDP integration series. Okay, so in the session number two, we have configured our Okta as IDP provider, second IDP provider for our AnyPoint platform. So let me log into my account. Let's go ahead. And if I go to my access management, go to IDP provider. And you can see that already Okta we have configured. Okay. So now from here, we'll configure one more, which is our Azure ID. Okay. So let's go ahead and first log into our Azure you know, portal. And uh, then let's see. So you need to create the you know azure developer account okay so once you go here you need to active your azure free tier so you'll get around uh, 200 dollar free credits and here you can see that you can see your account details of how much uh, credits are uh, uh, available for you so once you do this then you need to go to your uh, active directory you can go to active directory and search for enterprise application okay as you once you go to azure active directory you will here just search for enterprise application once you go inside enterprise application okay so for previous session i have created one now we create fresh okay so create new application okay and say create your own application go ahead and give a proper name so here i'll give any point with any point platform any point platform sample two dot zero okay and then to create make sure that you are selecting or the what your default is there which is non gallery okay Create. So once you create, go for the single sign-on setup. Okay, start. Sorry. And go to SAML. Okay, here you can see that we need to do some configurations. So first we'll do a configuration of your ID, ID, uh, entity ID, okay? And SS and consumer service URL will get it later, but we'll copy dummy URL over here. So let's say edit. So we are doing basic SAML configuration now. Okay, so first uh, I have, we have created URL for our Okta, same URL we'll be using over here for our identity ID. Okay, so let's go back to our control B and please delete this one, old one, okay, delete it. So now we have this one, okay, make sure there are no spaces, nothing. And for this, we'll be pasting our dummy URL, okay, we have used the same step in our opt also, so paste the dummy, dummy URL and this will replace our update later okay then this is our basic okay now sign on url all these things just keep empty and say save okay so this is done close it now attributes you keep as it is you can see that here whatever is there keep as it is now 
just like we downloaded metadata of Rockta from here also, please download this. Okay. And let me take you to my proper location here in point platform. Uh, so this is from, if I can give a name properly, I'll say Azure, I can AD, I can IDP, I can meta data. Okay. Metadata. Okay. Now this metadata will help us to auto populate the you know, required properties in my any point platform. Okay. So now if you look at this, this is the minimum setup, minimum basic configuration for our Azure AD. Now we downloaded this federation metadata. Now let's go and assign the user here. Otherwise, we'll get the same error what we have uh, you know, uh, seen in the uh, you know or of the <coughs> when we're trying to access via Octa 403 error. So now here, if you go, now since we have trial account, so we cannot uh, you know, assign group directly here. So it will show you the pop-up here. See, groups are not available for assignment due to activity plan level. So we have some restrictions here. We can directly go and assign the users. So we'll go ahead and assign this user. This is my Azure AD user. Okay, let's go ahead and add it. So we have added the user now. Okay. Now, from our let's say assign. So from Azure AD side, the configuration is done. Okay. So you can see that one user assigned to our application now. Okay. So let's go to the AnyPoint platform now. So let me log into my AnyPoint platform. We have already logged in. Let's go here. Now, first step, just load that metadata. So which one? Azure AD now. Okay, so load this method. The moment we load it, all the values are auto populated. How look at it? Okay, the public is auto populated. So just we need to copy this, you know, the audience URL and a given name. So we'll give a name here Samuel IDP Azure AD. Okay, and then audience URL we have already that here. So let's copy this, copy this URL go back to our configuration paste it now you select this default option which is you know both so when you try to log in then you will see the pop-up where all the options will be available okay now here we need to pass these parameters so let me copy those i have already uh, those links so I can copy this from my notepad. Let me show you that in the notepad. Uh -huh. So for user attribute, let's copy this and go see. User control V. Give a name. Email we need to keep properly. Let me check and to see. Email address is group, group. And then let me cross check all the operations are there. Uh, all the values are auto populated, those are correct. I have added the audience URL and the name and the user attributes. Now save the changes. Now we need that access URL. So let's go here. And now this is the URL we need. So copy this URL. Okay. Let's go back and paste it. Maybe we'll paste it here or copy. Copy this. And now we'll go back to our Azure AD. Go to our application. Okay, single sign on. And here, this dummy URL will be replacing it. Control A, Control V. You can say, save this. Okay. Now, let's go ahead 
let's go ahead so now from the both the side our configuration are done okay let's go ahead and now try to log in to our any point platform via azure ad okay so either we can use that url which you have copied it or we can use this common url for logging in or specific url from the uh, microsoft itself so let's first see this url what all options we are able to see now if i go here and try to log in now uh, let me log out first then only i'll be able to see all the options because i was logged in that's the reason i was not able to see now see the plat with the platform credentials also we can log in now we can log in with saml idp azure ad and octa so octa we already tested now let's go ahead and test with azure ad okay so this is my user i can see that this is a user coming from the azure ad okay so now if you see this user won't be having access to any api manager i mean this will be this user will be having zero access okay so we have seen same situation with the same uh, user which uh, logged in via octa that user was also not having any access to our any point platform components now this guy at you know logged in from the azure ad this guy also doesn't have access and we know how to add the access to the user okay you know our admin can uh, you know uh, take advantage of the teams setup okay there this user they can you know simply add it so that whatever access that team has this user also will get that access by default okay so if i sign out again and maybe let's cross check once so now we are getting signed off from the microsoft account microsoft azure account let me close it let me close this now let me try to log in again now if i logged in via octa let's check it i'm able to log in okay so let me sign out from here let's try the url and try the platform credit just now so i'll just say uh, two now you can see all three logins are working fine okay so this is a new feature just now will soft released for for any point platform sso login and now any point platform is supporting multiple external identity provider okay so that's all from this session okay hope you liked it hope it it's you know helpful in your uh, you know uh, any of your project thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel please share with your friends hit the like button and hit the bell icon so that you'll get uh, you know notification for new videos thank you